Hey everyone, welcome to the Captain Drone YouTube channel. My name is Steve and I am a drone pilot and you're watching this video because you want to learn how to set up a model in the radio, then bind this radio to an ELRS drone, then set it up in Betaflight Configurator. Well, this video will show you all that, so uh, watch this. The first thing you'll need to do is ensure your left joystick is all the way down, then make certain that the button at the top left is all the way out and do the same for the button at the top right. Then ensure your two top three-way switches are pushed all the way forward. Next, hold down the power button on your radio and the radio will start up. Welcome to HTX. Now press the MDL button, that stands for model, then use the scroll wheel to scroll down to FPV drone, press the scroll wheel in and select it. Then you will see that the asterisk now shows up beside FPV drone. Take note that you are now in page one of 12. We wanna to go to page two of 12. So on the left hand side, press the page right button. Now that we are in page two of 12, we can rename our drone. Notice it's highlighted. Just press the scroll wheel in and start scrolling through the alphabet and numbers and write your name of the drone. My drone is called Flywoo, so I'm gonna name mine Flywoo. Please note you can change from lowercase to uppercase just by holding down the scroll wheel. Next, we want to set a five minute timer so that when we're flying our drone, when five minutes are up, it's time to land because most drones fly for five minutes. So scroll down to where it says timer one. You see where it says off. Keep on going through all the options until you get to TH percentage and that's the one you want. Next, scroll down to the word start and set the time to five minutes. This is going to count backwards from five minutes down to zero minutes. Next, put a check mark beside the word minute and then change silent to voice. Then press your return key twice until you get back to the main screen. Now press the scroll wheel and select reset timer one. It goes back to five minutes and we're all set. Oh, but wait, there's a problem. It's already counting down and we have not even started flying our drone. So we need to set a start stop button for the timer. So press the MDL button, then press page right. Now scroll down to the TH percentage and then scroll to the right of it and we're gonna select a switch that starts and stops our timer. The switch we're gonna select will be the arm the motor switch. I'm pointing at it here. So press that switch in and you'll notice on your screen you're gonna see an SA with a down arrow. That is the correct information. Press the scroll wheel in now press your return key twice and go back to the main screen. Then press in the scroll wheel and select reset timer one. Now your five minute timer will not start counting down until you press the arm the motor switch. When you do that, of course it's gonna count down because you're using battery power. You can press the switch again and the timer will stop. Now press the MDL button, then press the page right. This time we want to go to page six of 12. Keep pressing the page right button until we get to page six of 12. On page six, you can see that the radio has already been set up to be used with a drone. The first four channels are your joysticks and they're named aileron, elevator, throttle, and rudder. The remaining channels are all assigned to the various switches on the top of your radio. Now press the page right button and scroll all the way to page 10 of 12. This is where you're going to assign voices to your switches. Press the scroll wheel in, then lift up your radio and press in your arm disarm switch. You can see me pressing it here. That's how we're gonna start and stop the motors. So with the switch pressed in, take a look at how the button looks. It's SA down arrow. After you confirm that selection, scroll over to the next input and then select play track. Then again, select it by pressing in your scroll wheel. For the next input, you must tell the radio which track you want it to play when you press that arm switch. So scroll down through all the options until you see the word armed, A-R-M-E-D, and select that one. Once done, press your return button. You can now press the arm button and the radio should say armed. 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 Next, we'll add the voices for our flight mode switch so that the radio is gonna say angle mode, horizon mode, and acro mode. So use the scroll wheel to select the next line down 
Now go to your mode switch and move it all the way down, all the way up so that it's activated. Now leave it all the way up. That's gonna be angle mode. And your display should show SB down arrow. Then select play track, just like we did before. Then you're gonna to have to select the sound that you want to be played. And what we're gonna select is flight mode angle. And if you wanna hear what that sounds like, take your mode switch and then flick it all the way down and then flick it all the way back up and you'll hear it. Flight mode angle. Flight mode angle. Next, we have to add the voice for horizon mode. So scroll down to the next line, press your scroll wheel. Now we're gonna flick the mode switch to the center. Your screen should show SB and a dash or SB hyphen. Now, just like with our previous sounds, select play track. Then you have to tell it what track to play and the track you're gonna play is flight mode horizon. And you can hear what it sounds like just by setting the mode switch to the center position. Flight mode horizon. The last voice we'll add is for acro mode. So scroll down to the next line, then go to your switch and you're gonna push it all the way to the bottom, all the way down, there you go. And then on your display, it should show you SB up arrow. Then select play track, and then the sound you wish to play is flight mode acro. And you can hear the voice by pressing the switch all the way to the bottom. Flight mode acro. Now press the return key two or three times until you get back to the main menu. This next section is all about binding your drone to your radio or your radio to your drone, however you wish to refer to it as. My radio is the ELRS version, so I am gonna show you how to bind ELRS. Please be aware that ELRS requires that both the radio and the drone are on the same firmware version. The Radio Master Pocket is on ELRS version 3.01, I believe, and that means any drone you bind to this radio must be on version 3 or higher. For the binding procedure, you will need to power your drone, so get the battery that you use with your drone. Okay, so here we go. The first thing you need to do is turn on the transmitter that's in your radio. First, press the MDL button, then press the Page Write button. Then use your scroll wheel and scroll up until you get to internal RF. If it says off, you must change it to CRSF. So press the scroll wheel in and select CRSF. Press the scroll wheel in again and you've selected it. Press the return key twice to get back to the main screen. Now to get to the ELRS menu, press the system button. Press it in, just hold it down and watch what happens to your screen. The first option is Express LRS. That's the one you want, so press your scroll wheel and you will see you are now in ELRS. Simply scroll down to the Bind option and stop there. Great, now put your radio aside. Leave it on, everything ready to go. Put it aside. Pick up your drone. You should really have the props off it, but pick up your drone and a battery and now we're gonna go and put your drone into bind mode. You do this by plugging your battery into your drone a total of three times. Two times quick, and on the third time you leave the battery plugged in. Okay, so watch me. I'm gonna plug in the battery. The drone is gonna make a sound like did it did it and after it makes that sound, I unplug it. And then I plug it in again, did it did it I unplug it. Then I plug it in a third time, it goes did it did it it, and it carries on with more beeps and blurps, but I just put the drone down. We're ready to bind because the drone is now in bind mode. Pick up your radio. The highlight should still be on the word bind, so press in your scroll wheel, and guess what? Your radio and your drone are gonna bind together. To exit the ELRS setup, simply hold down the return button until the screen goes back to the main screen. Now, since my drone is tiny, I can hold it in my hand and I can press the arm switch on the radio and the motors will start without injuring myself. You can see them going here. If you're new at this, take your props off to try this. Okay, so the drone and the radio are bound together, but we're not finished yet. We still have to set up the flight modes and a few other things. You're gonna need a computer and you're gonna have to have Betaflight Configurator already installed on that computer. You're also going to need a good quality USB cable that plugs into the flight controller on your drone. I'm pointing to where the flight controller input is on my drone. 
Here I've plugged the USB cable into my drone. I should also mention that many drones require a battery to be attached in order for them to be set up in Betaflight Configurator, so I'm going to attach a battery as well. Next, I simply plug the USB cable into my computer, and then on my screen, it should magically appear that the drone is connected and I can move the drone around. If yours does not pop up like this, you may have to click the button on the upper right that says connect. For this entire process, your radio should have been on and connected to the drone. The first thing we'll check is that the radio and drone are connected. So on the screen, click on the word receiver, then scroll down so you can see more of the screen. Now when you move the joysticks, you should see them also moving on the computer screen. Next, we're gonna set up the flight modes. So take a look at the computer screen and go down and select modes. This is where we're gonna ensure our arm switch, our angle mode, our horizon mode, and acro mode are all set up correctly. Let's begin with the arm switch. Go on the screen and select auto. You see I'm pointing at it. Now press the arm button and auto changes to auxiliary one. Notice my large yellow bar over on the right. Yours should look the same. If it doesn't look the same, you can just drag and slide it over onto the right. Now we're going to do the flight modes. The first one is angle. So set it to auto, then take your radio and flick that switch that is our mode switch. So we know that angle is all the way up to the top. So switch it all the way up to the top. There we go. So now we're in angle mode and we have to set our screen to match. The screen tells me that the large yellow bar needs to be moved to the right. So take your mouse and drag it all the way to the right. How do I know that? That's because there's a little yellow bar that moves when you put it in angle mode and you have to get the larger bar over top of the smaller bar. Click on the save button in the bottom right of the screen. So now our arm switch is set up and our angle mode is set up, but the next one to do is horizon mode. So again, switch this to auto. Then we're gonna flick our switch and put it in the center position, our mode switch. So move it to the center position. And then on the screen, look for that tiny indicator bar and see if the larger yellow bar is over top of it, which it is, so we know it's bang on perfect. And again, press the save button in the bottom right of the screen. Now it's very important to note that if you place the mode switch in acro mode, you won't see any display for that on the screen. And that is because every drone out of the box comes in acro mode by default. At this point, you're all done and you're ready to go fly. Just make sure you hit that save button in the bottom right of the screen. I should also point out that if you scroll down, you'll see tons of other modes you can set up such as beeper or flip over and crash. It's up to you if you want to assign those to a switch just by doing what we've already done. It's also wise that if you're not gonna use any of the other options, if you see something assigned like the one on my screen, just hit the X and make it go away. Then hit the save button at the bottom right of the screen. Now, if you wanna get a little bit more advanced, you can also set up what you see in your FPV goggles. Go down on the left-hand side and so you see OSD. When you're in that menu, it's showing you exactly what you're gonna see when you go fly. You can pick any of the words or information on the screen that you'd like to see. And you do that by putting a check mark all the way down column number one into anything you want displayed on your screen. Select what you want. Make sure you hit the save button. So there you have it. If you followed all the steps correctly, then everything should have worked fine. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Think about subscribing and I'll catch you in a future video with many more product reviews, cool like this and other neat things. Until then I say bye.